Oh, sorry. Falling down into my shadow And can you see some of that Meet the dead midnight Don't scare me That's how you saw that video. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys heard that music, but mm. you see heard my lyrics. Okay, we are starting with the very first anime review I think I did on this channel. And now it's not fairy tale. I do that another time. Probably when Hundred Quest comes out, or when I decide to finish, yeah. or when I decide to finish watching it for like the fourth time. Okay. Anyway, Soul Eater is an anime that released back back in 2008, ran from 2008 to 2009, and it was amazing. I think it ran for two seasons, both for October. There was like a year gap, mostly because they aired the episodes daily in Japan in October and it did well. Why I didn't get a third season or continuation or reboot that I have no idea. But we're not here to talk about that. So Eater is one of the best anime I've ever seen. Not being fair to or monster. I'll get into those two animes later on. But it is one of the best animes I have ever seen. If you haven't seen this anime, you need to go see it. Anyway, let's get right into it. Okay, so let's start with the characters. Not uh, do from. You know, so from each main character, I'm not gonna get into the side characters, like most of the death sides, because they don't really so much to the plot. They just they mostly just make cameos. I will crew death sides to actually do serve the plot, make like me and and oh god, what was her name? The girl who can sp I forgot her name but I'm only gonna include Mimi Stein well he's not Dove Side uh, what's his name? Sai Dove Sai I don't think they ever gave him a name and yeah that's pretty much it Justin and pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's start with Maka. Maka is probably mm, debating the Soul fan base being the favorite character or the least. I'm, I'm in the middle. She. People say that she is this well to men that own her. I really don't see that in the anime, I don't know where they get that from. She just met her father. We know there are a couple things like that, but it just comes straight out of nowhere. But she is a strong, living character. 
basically she'll fight to the end. And I think she's probably... Mm, if I had to choose between least favorite and favorites, uh, she's probably at the bottom tier. She's probably my least favorite character in the Soul Eater anime. Well, if you don't include Soul Eater or not, those three characters are my least favorite. <laughs> Actually, every character from Soul Eater or not is my least favorite. <laughs> don't speak of that anime. Oh my god, that's what made me hate Next Gens. Anyway, not including Money or Academia. Anyway, Maka is basically just struggling with her life, trying to get 99 souls. That's basically what the whole anime is about. Going on adventures, fighting witches and demons, monsters, whatever you want to call them, and make them go and bad. She's accompanied by its soul. Either power drop and I'm just gonna say right here he is so he is such a fucking character I'm kind of one of those laid back guys like one of those cool friends you have he is such an interesting character the only real complaint I probably have about him is What's that red demon that's inside of him? The black blood red demon? I have no idea what that is. Was it always there inside? So, was it just a. Was it awakened by the black blood? What's the whole story behind that? I think it's. I don't know. Maybe it was awakened by the black blood. That demon was awakened by the black blood. It was deep inside, so maybe so made a deal with the devil. I don't know. So it was pretty interesting. Okay. Uh, then we get into Spocky. Yeah. Okay, she's my favorite character. Because she is a kind person, and well, maybe not. She's my favorite female character from Soul Eater. No, that is me. Mm, no, she's buggy. Cause she will say to with her partner to the end and question why didn't they have her be the main character? Why didn't they have a story about Brad Star and Well I guess so it was the main character kinda not very and also this anime is very misnamed it's the focus about DWMA who hunts demons on the past two occasions this anime really should have been called the DWMA not so either because so either the main focus is not on so either and he reveals he's just as a side of giving advice to Maka. Uh, anyway. Ubaki is. Ubaki, uh. Tsubaki. What is her name? Yeah, Tsubaki. It's probably my. F you can write down in the comments if I got that wrong. Tsubaki is probably one of my favorite characters in the anime. Yeah. She's pretty interesting. Uh, Black Star. Mm, eh. He's something. <laughs> He's like the dumb character who tries to become stronger. Literally wants to surpass God. It literally says that in the anime. It gets darker when he gets the enchanted sword, and when he spoilers, he loses battles against Mifune, the Kishin, and. Oh, and if you're watching this video, there will be some spoilers for, like, a, what, a 13-year-old anime? Anyway. Anyway. 
Matt Song is probably... It's kind of weird that he has the same voice as Naruto. I should have just watched the sub, but I didn't want to read the subtitles because of my eyes. I can't see. I have a hard time reading, so that's why I watch dub. Preferred. Well, it depends on the sub and dub. Anyway, that's always probably one of my. F it's probably uh, between the main three groups. Of that's say the mice. I think Brat Star and Subaki are the best partners out of the three. Anyway, besides them, there's not really much to say about Brat Star. Besides, he's using his insanity throughout the show after he keeps on losing battles, and then he wants Spaska and then starts fights. I don't know. And then we got Death the Kid. And. And. This is upside. Oh, what are her names? Uh, uh, and. Uh, oh my god. Uh, I forgot their names. Let me form my here. Def the Kid, and who is played by the god himself, Todd Abagorn. As you can see, he's supposed to be a dub back though. Anyway. And I think this is what started his career. <laughs> because he has a. He is. Such, yeah, you know what? Def. I think. That the kid is probably my favorite meister in this show. Oh my god. Yeah. One of the best. Anyway. He is basically trying to balance between good and evil. And later on in the series, he suffers one of the magic tools and has. And his path towards the dark side. <laughs> Just have made some with offense. And this and Patty. I got nothing really to say about them. The character. They really don't do anything but. Just the Fallout kid a lot. They really don't do that much in the anime besides there's just been oh no ghosts and then just that being hit by off and then we got Stein who let's be honest he's the best character in the anime <laughs> come on he's the best character the fam losing his insanity in that very in that Magnificent episode, episode 5, I believe. That is one of the best episodes in the entire anime. Oh boy. It's maybe not the best. I think the best episode is probably 
Um, a lot of episodes are good. Can we really pick like a top ten or anything? And then we got Defsai, not Defsai, uh, Spirit, who's basically just a, the best person, best world. Anyway, well, best anime dad, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> okay. Anyway, I think his character development is not. Yeah, he basically got into a divorce with Maka's mother, and we never see Maka's mother in anime, so she's either dead or just abandoned Maka. Yeah, traveling the world. And why is Maka mad? Spirit? Yeah, I guess because. Because Spirit cheated on Maka's mother. I don't know. And yeah, Spirit's probably. Hmm. I can wait to him. And she's just. And he's just trying to get his daughter's attention to earn her trust back for the wrongdoing he's done. Yeah. But anyway, we got through all the characters. Okay, yeah, I forgot two more. Oh wait, three more important characters. I don't think the other ones, the other two, don't matter that much. Wait, the other three don't matter. Three main characters. The other characters don't much because they're just side characters. Maybe we don't do anything but just move the plot along. Got Krona. And she. It. They never really give it. Well, they call her he in the dub. So I'm calling him he. Yeah. They literally. Literally, that's the only canon thing. So. But people saying. That is your choice to decide. Did we really call her he in the dub? So I'm taking that as with grain salt. Anyway, Krona is probably the most misunderstood. It's probably, hmm, probably, I don't know what to say about Krona. She's probably misunderstood, doesn't know what is shy. And it's corrupted by madness and corrupted by the black blood and just wants to kill people to become a Keishan, but only to please um, to make her mother happy. And then we get into the villains. And the only way that much villains in this anime. This mosquito, that chainsaw guy. Fune. Uh, Arachne. Medusa. Yuzune. The Ribbit Girl. I what her name was. Uh, Free. They, maybe we got enough in the same. Uh, except for Medusa. She's probably the best villain in the anime. And the death and her plan to watch the DWMA and the Rat Nophomia fight, and she'll come over and up and just watch the world burn. That's uh, not some plan. And with her actually pulling the strings behind the battle between the DWMA and Rat yeah. Hmm. And she also reads Keishin, which makes her a bitch. But that's great. Yeah. Anyway. Let's get into plot. Uh, the plot is basically... Yeah. The, the plot story is basically... 
them try and find demon. Oh look, demon comes. They say demon. They help. And then villain comes. They help him. Let's him pee. There are a few. There are a few uh, story hearts that are really good, like the DWA battle with the DWMA battle on that island and the final arc and I think my favorite arc in the storyline and so it was probably the Kishin wake the Kishin Awakening. I know it has a different name but I'm just going to Kishin Awakening arc. It's probably my favorite of them. And yeah. And if I had to choose between these favorite episodes, I don't got any favorites. It's too hard to choose from that because there's so many good ones. If I had to choose between these favorite episodes, I think there's only four, to be honest. The three Scalable episodes and uh, the final episode. Well, not really the final episode. The final episode is not as bad as people say it is. The only part that's bad is the shit ass sending. Plus, a couple minutes of the episode. Like, spoilers Maka literally punches the kitchen and he dies. What the fuck? In the manga, Kona defeated the demon and became a kitchen. A good kitchen. For some reason, and everybody was up with boobs for some reason. I don't know why. And they could just change that and not have them be such with boobs and just be such with kindness. I don't know. Just be such with peace, balance between peace and evil, I guess. That would have made a better ending if Krona became the key, defeated the Kishin. But they wanted Maka, because Maka was the main character, they obviously wanted her to be the Kishin. I don't know. It wouldn't have made sense if Maka defeated the, defeated the Kishin with Kishin Hono. They really should end the fight. <laughs> but for some reason, the Kishin broke Kishin Hono? What the f... Okay. Anyway. This is probably, and yeah, there's not really that much else I can say about this anime. It's pretty good. I'd probably give like, if I had to score it, I'd probably give like a, hmm, uh, yeah, eight point nine out of ten. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, eight point. In point seven out of ten. Yeah, that this seems about right. No wait, eight point five out of ten. That seems about right. It's really good, but if I had to get it out of five star rating, it would probably be three and a half. Nah, four stars. Four star rating. Probably get like four out of five stars. Because it's that good. It's making it hold back from getting that point. F that 5 star rating. Is probably. Eh. It's probably the ending in the Scalibur episodes. That it's only back, and there are a couple of those plot threads that don't really make sense. And also the force bond between Mary. Oh, I forgot to talk about Mary. Mary is basically a teacher, which is not really important to the plot, but mm. actually, she's only important to the end to help Stein stay cool and calm. That's pretty much it. To keep Stein under control. That's pretty much all Mary does. And to help out with Krona. That's 
pretty much and to defeat Medusa even though she didn't win the final blow. That makes no sense. Anyway, I think that ends the review. I would have that in. This ends the Halloween month. Kinda. I'm gonna do a live stream right after I upload this video. I mean, I forgot to my phone. I'm gonna do a live stream right after I upload this video. Alright, this is Adnagoji signing off. And remember, stay big, G fans. Even though this is not a Godzilla video. <sighs> anyway, I gotta find out. I gotta find a bit of class ways. <laughs> I gotta find my own cast way to see ya. Bye.